Okay, lads, I believe that this is Antrim Grammar School's first visit to the BT Young Scientist Competition. Tell us about the project that you've brought down. Our project is based on encryption. <clears throat> encryption is based on prime numbers, and our project, it reverses the process by using quantum physics. And how did you come out with the actual idea for this? What was the inspiration behind it? I was just, we have been speaking to various people coming up to the time of the competition, and this idea had been in the back of our minds, but then we were actually, a friend of ours who's just graduated from the university, actually was able to tell us that we could do this and that it could be successful. So we then decided from that to move on with this project. Okay, so what did you actually do? How did you go about it? Well, we used a Raspberry Pi and we loaded it with Q-Tip software, and it is a quantum toolbox in Python. And it allowed us to perform quantum functions upon it. And you enter in a number and it translates the binary bits into qubits and then performs a transform on that and generates the output, which, and then continued fractions and then you get a number. So for someone like me who loves their gadgets, loves their computers, but ne doesn't necessarily understand how that works, what does this mean for the real world, for their everyday use? At the minute, at this current stage of where we have reached in technology, very little for us. Because for this to work completely, it does require content computing itself to be refracted. But inside the next 25 to 50 years, this could pose a serious risk to forms of encryption. So that includes bank details, even right down to their Facebook login details, could no longer be secure. Okay, and what would you do differently, or how would you add to this if you were to have the opportunity to add further to it? Well, <clears throat> we need to, first of all, speed up our processing because it uses the greatest common divisor and that runs very slowly in ours and then we would add something to handle bigger numbers yeah. because at the moment it handles about a 10 bit number and encryption goes up to thousand, about a thousand bits. And in terms of working of a t as a team, uh, a pair, how has that worked out? Any challenges? All been smooth sailing along the way? It's been very much smooth sailing. I have known Caleb since nursery. The yeah. basically first friend he made in nursery, and he's been in, in the same primary school class and in most of the classes throughout our time at Amherst Grammar School. That's fantastic, taking you know having that friendship all these years and now taking this project yeah. down to Dublin. And so far, it's your first time at the competition. What have you made of it so far, the standard and the, the, the projects on display? The standard is very high. We have a lot to compete with, but we're confident. Yeah. Good. Boys, we wish you all the very best. Good luck. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thanks.